It is an end to your struggles because God is helping you rise above that struggle. He is giving you the strength and grace that you need to rise above that situation and find your place in Christ. Jesus, speaking in John 16, verse 33, says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have perfect peace and confidence. In the world you have tribulation and trials and distress and frustration. But be of good cheer, take courage, be confident, certain, undaunted. For I have overcome the world. I have deprived it of power to harm you and have conquered it for you. Because God has said we would pass through struggles, tribulations, distress, and frustration doesn't mean it's always going to be that way or the problem is never going to come to an end. The same verses goes further to let us know that although we pass through all this struggle, we should be of good cheer because he has overcome the world and we can too. Because he's overcome the world, no harm is permitted to touch you. It's an end to your struggles in this season because the Lord has overcome. For gold to become refined, it has to pass through a series of processes. It was not easy, but it was worth it. It's an end to your struggles because you've passed through your fire, and it's now time for the beautiful peace that the Lord has created to be shown for the whole world to see. Those who put their hope and trust in the Lord can never be put to shame. In the same way, God can never put you to shame. Just like Joseph has to pass through struggles before he got to his victory, you too will come out victorious. Just like Joseph faced disappointment in his life and every time, it felt like he was close to the vision that God showed him. But somehow, it always ended up the same, until finally, he was in his season to blossom. Beloved, your life might be like that of Joseph, and you're wondering if this disappointment will ever end. You might also have seen a vision of the great and mighty things God will do in your life. But when you look at the mirror, what you see is the exact opposite. Worry no more. This time around, it's not going to end in disappointment. This is going to be the last time that you'll ever have to wonder if God will keep his end of the covenant that he has with you. It's the end of your struggles, and just like Joseph, it's time to sing your victor song. Starting from this very moment, God is going to move that situation and calm the storm. He is making a way for you where there seems to be no way. He is going as the mighty one in the battle to destroy anyone who dares to stand against you. By the time the Lord is done with you, you will stand in awe of his marvelous works, and you'll be glad you had to pass through all the struggles you went through. The reason why some of us had to go through the struggles we're passing through is because God was preparing us for something greater. There are places He plans to put us in life, but first, we have to pass through the waters so that we remember to stay humble. We had to pass through them so that we could learn to handle the pressure and hardship of life without losing Christ as your focus. And we had to pass through those struggles so that when the Lord finally blesses you, you know exactly where He wants you to channel it to. You have stood the test of time. You fought the good fight. And Christ is so proud of the person you've turned out to be, because that was what He wanted for you. It's an end to your struggles, because it's time for your reward. It's not possible to serve the Lord and end up without a reward, so God will cause your struggles to end. Some of us are struggling with a health challenge, 
and wondering if this pain will ever go away. Don't worry, beloved. It is an end to that struggle. Your health is going to bounce back to the level it was, and even better. The Bible, speaking in Psalms 147, verse 3, says, He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds, curing their pains and their sorrows. God will heal your broken heart and take away your pain. He is exchanging your garment of sorrow for a garment of gladness. The devil thought this was going to be the end of you, but God helped you to come out strong. It's an end to your struggles between life and death, and God is restoring your health with a new lifespan. All those that have asked you, where is your God, will begin to see the works of his hands in your life. In no time, you will bounce to your feet to praise God like you used to. You might be on the verge of giving up, but don't, because help is here. The time for that struggle is over, and your life will begin to see the light of God in it. People around you mocked you because they didn't understand the process. They didn't know what the Lord was doing in your life. And just like a Job, you are mocked, abused, and told to curse your God. But in the mercies of God, you stood your ground. So just like the Job, you are about to witness a massive shift in your life. God is taking you far above that level you wanted to be. He is going to take you to the level He wanted for you. The Bible speaking says, The ways of the Lord are not our ways, neither are His plans the same as ours. It took a while for you to get to this place because God was preparing something bigger for you. His plans prevail in your life because you let Him, and so your expectations are never going to be cut short. It's an end to your struggles, even the ones you consciously and unconsciously put yourself into. We are in the season of mercy, and God is giving you a second chance to prove yourself to Him again, and by His grace, you will not fail. As God is putting an end to your struggles, people will come from far and near just to meet you. Your name is going to be mentioned in places you never expected, and your life will be a source of inspiration to other people, because the Lord will deal marvelously with you. If you've given up before, it's time to get your confidence back. It's time to get your faith back, and keep on moving towards the mark, which is Christ. You are about to begin to experience the best days of your life.